Across East Tennessee, health leaders say there are now 657 people in hospital beds fighting COVID-19. That's across 19 hospitals in 16 East Tennessee counties. In Knox County, the health department reports 21 deaths in just the past week. To put that in perspective, that's the equivalent of losing one of our Knox County neighbors to the virus every eight hours. As COVID cases also rise in Knox County schools, some parents are pleading for a mask mandate. Others say they don't want that rule. Last night, the Knox County Board of Education voted against a mask requirement in schools. Tennis reporter Marissa Rios asked board members why and has reaction from parents. Knox County Schools is seeing near record COVID case numbers. That leaves some parents worried. One KCS parent says her nine year old son wears a mask every day at school. Elizabeth Cook says it's about protecting not just my babies, but his other sister and everyone around him. On the other hand, KCS parent Amanda Flynn says she's thankful for the choice she has for her own kids. Board members Betsy Henderson, Patty Bounds, Mike McMillan, Christy Christie, and Susan Horn voted against a mask mandate. District member Susan Horn says she stands behind her decision. In a statement sent today, she says many experts warn against several negative impacts wearing a mask may have for children. Therefore, I believe it needs to be a parental decision. Other board members say a mandate is necessary. In a statement from board member Daniel Watson, he says public health professionals have been consistent that universal masking, along with our mitigation strategies, are needed in schools. Parents like Monica Ware agree safety needs to be a top priority. Reporting in Knoxville, I'm Marissa Rios. Hoping for more transparency, the school board also told the district to release COVID numbers on a school-by-school -school dashboard.